All right, question number two. Given the function fx and fgx, find gf. So they want you to find gfx. Okay, but before we can find that, we need to know what is gx first because otherwise we can't do right. So we can't start with this. We have to use the composite and the uh, function given fx to find the gx. So how do you find gx? So we just substitute. They gave you this, right? We are going to substitute this into the f, okay? But since we don't have g, so we substitute as an unknown. So wait, before that, fgx equals to 2x plus 5 over x minus 2. So this is given. So now we're going to substitute gx into the f function. So it's 3 g, sorry, this is gx plus 2 equals to 2x plus 5 over x minus 2. So 3gx equals to 2x plus 5 over x minus 2 minus 2. Okay, so this is what actually this is over 1, right? So if this over 1, we have to times x minus 2 and x minus 2. Okay, to get make it become the same denominator. So we get 3gx equals to 2x plus 5 minus 2x plus 4 over x minus 2. So this 2 you can cut. Alright, let me scroll this down. So you get 3gx equals to so you get 9 over x minus 2. But don't forget, you still have to bring the 3 over. So it becomes divide. So 3, eh, sorry, 9, and then divide here. So here you get 3. So your answer for gx is 3 over x minus 2. So now you want to find gf. So gfx, um, we got the... F function right so just substitute into the G function so you get 3x plus 2 minus 2 yeah so you get 3 over so here plus 2 minus 2 becomes 0 so 3 over 3x answer is 1 over x okay you have to write the domain as well so that means x cannot be equals to 0 in this case x cannot be equals to 2 okay so this is your answer all right question b uh kedai prabut bahagia wants to give two types of offer to their customer which are 20 percent discount and also 100 ringgit rebate based on the purchase rmx given the function fx represents the price after discount so fx is the price after discount so the discount is 20 percent right so that means the person will have to pay for 80% because discount is 20% so it's 80 over 100 times the price that they purchase so it's x right that's what they said here so we can actually rewrite this as 80 over x uh, 80 over 100 is 0 0.8 okay so this function represents the price after the discount then the second function here they say g gx represents the price after rebate so gx is the price so after rebate means x minus 100 lah. so the price they they are they purchase minus 100 bucks that's the rebate okay so question is saying that as the owner you have to make a decision which give more profit to the store which will give more profit to the store yeah so either rebate 100 ringgit is given before or after the discount give justification of your decision by using composite function so they want to know whether you want to give the rebate first then a discount or the discount first then the rebate so we do both okay we're going to find fgx and we're also going to find gfx okay so what does fg and gf means so here's the thing for composite function, we always read the right first, then the left. Huh? So right is what? This right is G, right? G is the 
price after rebate this is price after discount so the FGX is rebate first rebate because GX right so rebate first then only discount F sorry GFX will be the FX will discount first then only uh, rebate so you want to see which one will give you more profit so let's do it uh, do the first one huh? so GX substitute into the FX so you get X minus 100 so you get 0 0.8 minus 80 okay next gfx g oh, sorry this one got x here gfx will be 0 0.8x minus 100 okay so by looking at this which one will give you more profit which one will give the owner more profit so obviously this one will give you more profit right more profit why because this one only minus 80 this one minus 100 so that means the the person who buys will get 80 percent discount and then minus 80 bucks but if i use this method i will get 80 percent discount and then have to minus 100 bucks so i make less right as the owner i make less so this one will give me more profit fgx so fgx means gx first so that means discount first so the question asks uh, what they ask for and uh, you can just say like uh, g fx gives more profit mm, how you want to justify you can say that it gives more uh, profit like uh, you want to justify right? actually some people what they do is they substitute a value for example they substitute 100 bucks Okay, they substitute both of these 100 bucks then you find how much they actually get paid okay the owner keeps so you can do that but i don't think that's necessary lah. so you can just say that fgx give more uh, profit so therefore therefore rebate given after discount will give more profit okay so you can write like this lah. 